Um, okay. Start with the team news then, as we always do. How's everybody looking ahead of this? Um, we've had a little bit of illness around, um, but hopefully getting towards a weekend. We've got, we've got a couple of doubts um, that we'll check on ahead of travelling tomorrow. Uh, we're training first. Um, but in general, we, we, we're in pretty good shape. shape. Would those doubts just, just be for this game or would it be going forward as well? Um, I would like to think just for this weekend, uh, if, if at all, but not absolutely certain on that. Um, so we'll have to just monitor them and see. But certainly shouldn't be anything major, um, but one of them is, is uh, linked to uh, the back. Um, bit of a back injury so again that's not always always straightforward so we'll, we'll see how that is is it one of those we have to wait until friday even saturday morning before you know um i think we'll it'll make the um, well at least i'll make a decision tomorrow morning uh after training prior to traveling you know if there's any any sort of doubt realistically then um you know they, they won't travel Looking at John McAtee, is he fit enough to return on Saturday? Uh, no, is, is, is the answer there. Uh, and he's one again, he probably fits that category of a bit of uncertainty in truth. Um, as I said, we, in general, it's been pretty good news. Um, however, you know, he's got some strengthening to do and to then prove that he can still be on the pitch and I guess be himself and not be cautious of it, wary of it, or, you know, not playing a hundred percent, you know, while accepted he's done very well for him, he's a good player. Um, you know, you start going onto a pitch, not fit. And that's often a, a recipe for, uh, you know, a poor performance. So we, we've got some, I guess he's got some work to do and we've got some I think monitoring, assessing really to uh, to do next week um, and see, see how he gets on. I was going to say, is it possible to put a time scale on it? Not, not entirely. Um, I said uh, the, the, the general sort of feedback we've had and findings from his, his tests have, have been pretty good. So we're hopeful. Um, but I can't really be any more confident than that um, because, again, of what it is. And, you know, if he gets suddenly a bang on it or anything like that, it, it could quite easily cause, um, you know, a, a setback, which which we don't want. Um, so we'll, we'll just monitor it and, and hopefully he can prove that he's, he's ready to go. You said after the, the Torquay game when Ryan Taylor came off, he said to you, he was feeling fine. How is he doing? Yeah, he he was he was okay, Ryan. Um, so he's he's trained no problem, um, and will be will be available and, and travel with the squad tomorrow. Do you need to freshen your side up in any way? You're happy with how everyone's doing in the moment? Uh, I think the last sort of two games because of the uh, Kings Lynn one being on on the Monday. Uh, and then going into Turkey, we I did change. I'm not thinking it was five players around. Um, so we, I feel like we have freshened up a, a little bit. You know, ultimately we are at, at the end of of April, and there are going to be some tired legs or not as fresh as as you know they probably were back in in August September time. But with such you know um, kind of a prize to play for. Uh, and you know the squads are in the same position. Uh, you know we we will cope with that. Um, I think in general we we feel that we're a relatively fit group. Um, I've got most players fit and available, and I think to a degree, you know Gary Johnson sort of touched on it. He felt that that helped us, you know, in terms of the game against his side last weekend, where we had made changes and. You know, although the first half uh, we didn't play as well as we would like, you know, second half, I think we we just got stronger. Um, you know, speaking to, I think they felt that that really showed in that second half uh, where we looked, 
you know, a, a fitter team and, and got on top of the game. So I'm, I'm not sure I really need to freshen it up now, but, you know, you are always watching training just to, you know, get little indications or just checking, you know, on, on maybe one or two individuals, sort of levels of stats that we get. Has anything changing there? Um, but I think, you know, most players are, are in a pretty good place. I well, know someone that's come in quite recently, Sean Scannell, uh, has impressed a lot, particularly against Torquay. How impressed have you been with how he's contributed and his impact at this late stage of the season? Yeah, he's, he's, he's in fairness to Sean, it's almost been like a bit of a new signing um, because obviously for a large part of the season, he found it difficult to get into uh, my plans and, and into the squad. But he's kept his head down. He's got on with it. You know, I've said he's, he's just, you know, really focused on coming into training, getting on with his job. Um, and in the end, he's sort of got some rewards. Um, I'm hoping that that can continue uh, because, you know, the, we have got, you know, four or five options in, in that sort of area. But at the minute, he's probably, you know, jumped probably to the front of the queue. Um, and he he's one that certainly you would hope wouldn't be feeling you know the effects of a of a long season. Yes, he's trained and at times he's he's had a couple of spells out, but touch wood of late been been training. Um, but in terms of games, he he won't be sort of fatigued from from that side. So we are hoping that he can continue with the the form that he's shown in in recent times. Last time you faced Barnet, it was certainly a thriller at Blundell Park earlier in the season. Uh, what are you expecting this time around? Yeah, I mean, I think they've had quite a few games that have had a, a number of goals in them. Um, I think watching them, in some ways, I can certainly see why. They've got some real uh, threats attacking-wise. Um that we certainly have to be on as God against. Although some of the personnel has changed, that was kind of similar uh, at Blundell Park, albeit very early in the season. You know, we looked relatively comfortable and then the next minute we were we were behind in the game and, you know, got a bit of belief back with, with the penalty. And, you know, such a dramatically, you know, as you say, an outstanding goal. Kind of set a season off in, in the right track, I suppose. Um, so I'd, I'd prefer it not to be as nail biting as that. If, if I'm honest, I'll take the same result. Um, but yeah, we we certainly are aware of the threats that the bonnet, certainly the attacking players in particular, can cause. We've also got quite a few, you know, big players for for set players and things like that that we'll be wary of. Um, but we look forward to it. You know, we'll have another excellent following down there. Um, and touch wood, Barnet seems to have been quite a happy ground for me to go to, so I'm hoping that that can continue.